Hey everyone, TV King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video reviewing the Jelly Bomb Domination ROM on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. Before I do start, I do want to make a couple announcements. First of all, shout out to uh, friends Louis Zarat and CC Vasquez. They just got married, so congrats to them. Also, Epic 4G Touch owners, I will be getting some videos going for your device soon, so stay tuned for those as well. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get into the review. Alright, so here it is, the Jelly Bomb Domination ROM, courtesy of Josh Beach. I do want to give a huge shout out to him and thanks for this ROM, so be sure to go thank him in the ROM thread I can link to in the description. I do have a video showing how to install this ROM, I can link to that in the description video as well. First of all, you do have three options as home launchers. You have TouchWiz Home, Nova Launcher, and Apex Launcher. Apex and Nova are, are both uh, stock AOSP launcher styles. You will see it goes through downloaded widgets, etc. with horizontal screen. You have uh, screens right there. But uh, yeah, so that's the same with Nova as well. Apex and Nova are very similar. They just have different tweaks. So you have to mess around with those to find out which one you like more. Otherwise, you have the TouchWiz Home as well, being the stock TouchWiz launcher, um, your home screen there. One of the main things you will notice about this ROM is the awesome theme it has. It is definitely one of my favorite themes to a ROM. Um, it is actually a theme that you can install over other ROMs as well. Uh, but you'll notice all of the app icons are pretty much themed. Many of them are themed. Uh, you'll see very blue uh, looking theme to it up at the top notification bar here. We can check this out. You'll see you got a blue clock, uh, you got a nice honeycomb style battery icon that has blue, blue signal bars, um, blue Wi-Fi. I can actually turn off Wi-Fi and we can check out that 3G icon as well. Pull down notification bar, you see you got some toggles up here. You'll notice that you got some new toggles and some different ones. You swipe over, um, you got shutdown, reboot, lock screen, auto sync, rotation, airplane mode, uh, hotspot, flash, flashlight, GPS, a bunch of different options there. There's a 3G icon there, very cool blue one as well. You also see it says Jelly Bomb there. You have uh, a nice blue auto brightness or brightness changer. You have a settings button. You can obviously sw swipe away notifications as you see fit down at the bottom here. You'll see it also says Jelly Bomb, very cool little icon there. So otherwise, a very nice clean theme to the notification bar. You can actually edit these icons up at the top. I'll get to that in a second, but you can edit them, which is obviously a huge plus if you don't need some of them on there or not. Uh, but otherwise, uh, as I said, you have many different themed uh, applications. I don't know if the camera camera application is themed. You'll see you got that nice dark uh, look, that uh, black and blue going on. So you see you can take a bunch of pictures there. Otherwise, though, you do have the stock AOSP messaging application. So if I want to create a message, let's say I want to text Google 466453, and I will say hey to them, you'll see it is the basically the stock messaging application from ice cream sandwich or jelly bean. This is an ice cream sandwich based ROM. I, I'm gonna go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, go to about device. It's actually a TouchWiz ROM. You'll see it's Android 4.0.4 .4 based on LG8. You'll see Jelly Bomb ROM right there, Android version 404. Quickly tap on Android version 4.0.4. .4. You will see this little guy pops up, press and hold. Keep it held down, and then you got some flying uh, jelly bean guys there. So that's actually obviously a themed hidden menu there, which uh, Google likes to include. So very cool that uh, Josh Beach uh, did include that. But yeah, you'll see I got a text back from Google. Check it out, you'll see it is themed. It is inverted with that black background and blue and white, so I do love this messaging application. Otherwise, lock screen wise, pretty much stock lock screen. You will see it doesn't have necessarily that ripple effect, but uh, it does have a very cool look to it. You also notice when opening application, applications, it does have the Jelly Bean window animation. So you'll see I open up Gmail. You see inverted Gmail application as well, but you'll see it'll kind of open up. Got that cool Jelly Bean animation going through different windows and such. You will notice that throughout the video. Uh, but yeah, overall a really great theme. I do love the inverted applications. Go to the dialer, you'll see very awesome black and blue dialer there. Press on one and uh, it will obviously light up blue. You can set speed dials if you want to. Very cool there. It also has a 1X 3G modification where up at the top if you do see 1X one, uh, one you will know you are in a very slow uh, data speed area. So it switches between the two and letting you know 
uh, if what kind of data speeds you are getting on your device. You can actually take pictures while in phone call. That's a modification. Uh, if you're on stock, you'll notice while you're in a phone call, you cannot take pictures. While he, uh, in this ROM, it's included uh, where you can take pictures while in the phone call, which is great to have. And it also has Google Now. Uh, you can, you'll see you got a Google search bar there. You can put it on any screen you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into it. You'll see it loads up Google Now. It lets me know how far I am from my house and lets me know that the White Sox won today. Awesome. So let's go ahead and ask them a question. What's the weather like in Chicago, Illinois? It's 74 degrees with light rain in Chicago. There you go. So 74 degrees, light rain, Chicago. Obviously, you can ask Google now all those many different questions. I do have a video showing some cool questions you can ask. So if you want to check that out, you can. I can link to that as well for you guys. But yeah, so you'll see Google now works great. Uh, it is inverted, I believe. Uh, when I go ahead and go back into it, you'll see, um, I believe it was inverted with the cards and such. I'm not sure why these cards are acting so kind of goofy. But uh, anyways, regardless of that, uh, it is, I believe, inverted. But yeah, as I said, uh, the theme is very thorough and it looks great. All those application icons, I mean applications such as the calculator is themed there. You'll see the calendar is themed as well. Uh, contacts, all those good applications are themed as you saw. So overall a really great themed ROM and, and it's very smooth actually. I opening applications, closing them, uh, switching between applications. Everything is extremely smooth and fast. Um, and from what I hear, battery life is great as well. So again, huge shout out to Josh Beach for this ROM, putting it together. Press and hold the power button. You have silent mode, data network, airplane mode, restart, power off, restart. You can hit recovery or download mode if you'd like to. But yeah, I mean, overall, a really great ROM, and uh, it really doesn't have any bugs. So it's a very stable ROM as well. So definitely a ROM you're going to want to check out. Uh, yeah, so you're going to have to let me know what you think. Be sure to leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.